All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I don't really have anything uh, planned for today. Kind of kind of the, the ongoing trend of my, my videos and my channel is just to upload uh, essentially just me talking to myself and diving into a rabbit of the, the random things that come across my mind that I, I think about, but I don't know. Sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's not. I guess it depends on your taste and conversation. But I, I've said it before and I can't voice it enough that like being involved with you guys and like hearing your guys' thoughts, no matter what your thought is, whether you agree with me, you disagree with me, or whatever you wanna say, like I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I love hearing from you guys and and Kind of getting to connect on a more personal level for that matter rather than me just kind of uploading and then people just watching and being like ah oh, yeah okay whatever i like interacting with you guys and i enjoy hearing what you guys have to say and uh just about anything like i said i want to hear the good the bad and the ugly so if you disagree with me on a topic that I get on, or if you agree with me or you're indifferent, like, don't be afraid to comment that. I love reading them. Um, and it, it just can lead to a really interesting dialect, and I appreciate that from you guys, whether you, like I said, you agree or disagree. So, definitely, uh, if you can, or if you want to, do comment and let me know what you guys are thinking. I love hearing from you guys. So, do it. It's easy. Comments are down below. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go for a cruise today, and it's a beautiful day out. I'm glad it didn't end up turning ugly. My morning ride in, the sky didn't look very nice. It was quite cloudy. I guess it is kind of cloudy now, but it was a lot cloudier this morning, and I kind of had a fear that it was gonna rain a little bit, but it's definitely not gonna. It's a beautiful day outside, and I am living for it. I love the fall weather, especially when you get further down south. Because um, I grew up up north, for anybody who's from New Hampshire. Um, that's where I grew up, and I'm used to the, the, the brisk air of New Hampshire. It gets warm for about two months, and then it's right back down to, to 50s and 60s. And I love that weather. I love being able to throw a hoodie on and be comfortable and just kind of not sweating constantly. So that's my own personal opinion. I know people from the South that I'll go outside in like shorts and t-shirt when it's 50 degrees outside and they'll be all buttoned up in a jacket, long pants and gloves. But that's my personal preference. I, I was acclimated to the colder weather and that's just what I will always love. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of like snow. I do miss it a little bit because I enjoyed like snowboarding or snowmobiling, in the winter sports, but I don't miss it enough to want to move back up north to shovel and deal with all the negative sides of snow. And I love my bike too much, uh, so much more than snowmobiling or uh, snowboarding for that matter. I just can't give this up year round. Even in North Carolina, it's almost too cold for me to ride year round because some mornings I literally can't because it'll be in the 30s and an hour long ride in the 30s is a really good way to lose feeling in your fingers and if not cause more damage and I'm not really about that. And that's with riding, like I brought snowmobile gear with me here just so I could ride in the winter and be able to, to withstand it. And, um, come on, come on, come on. I know the bridge is closed. But, uh, yeah, I literally have like big Polaris snowmobile gloves that I'll wear in the winter. And it's still too cold, those gloves. They just weren't meant for going 50 to 70 miles an hour for that long of a period. So, with super high winds at that speed, 
it just it defeats the gloves. I know there's some companies out there who make like a uh, like heated gloves and they'll make like heated jackets and I've looked into getting some of those. They're not cheap. There's a race boat. There's a couple of them. Those are cool. I don't know if you guys can see that through the railing of the bridge, but there's a, uh, a race going on here tomorrow. And it's, uh, it'll be interesting. I've never actually seen a boat race before. I've only ever seen like pictures and videos of them racing and they're, they're wild boats, but I've uh, never actually seen one in person until recently. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I know there's companies out there that make like heated gloves and heated jackets, all that, that nice fancy shit, but it's expensive from what I've seen. Maybe there's some cheap brands out there. If you guys know of one that's not crazy expensive, then let me know down below. But from what I've seen, most heated gloves and jacket companies, they don't give those things away, obviously, because I mean, it's, I think it's fairly new technology. I could be wrong, but yeah i've definitely considered it because it would let me ride in a lot colder temperatures probably year round no matter what day it is no matter how cold it is i probably would be able to withstand it but we'll see i'll probably invest in those at some point but probably not soon because i'm not too worried about it i'm more focused on uh getting more bike parts and setting up an office being able to give you guys better content and more stuff that's more interesting than me just buying a, a heated jacket or heated glove yeah it'll it, it'll be interesting um come winter time when i can't ride year round and uh things start to get a little too cold for me in the morning i'm gonna try to tough it out at least once a week if possible um if it just is one of them cold front weeks uh i'll probably end up trying to do some sort of uh video on my bike where i don't end up actually taking out uh the on the only other kind of way i can get around that would be essentially going on one of my weekend days and trying to soak up while it's like 60s out in the afternoon but obviously that's only two days out of the week and a lot of the times it ends up raining or some other thing ends up happening so i don't have time to do it or whatever but we'll see um, i'll end up having to cross that bridge when i get to it but for right now it's primarily going to be me riding i know that i'm going to do a helmet review soon on the uh icon air flight i know i've been asked that a few times to do a review on it and I really want to be able to get that out to you guys but i also don't want it to be in poor quality i want it to be a good video that you guys are going to enjoy and it's going to be informative so with that being said if you guys have any questions on the icon ask them like please ask them you can send me a message over instagram you can leave a comment down below like if you guys have any concerns that you're curious about with the icon let me know and as soon as I can get around to actually making that video, I will answer every single question that you guys have. Looks like there's another race boat up ahead. I'm curious at what kind of uh, uh, bracket, well, I don't know if it's considered a bracket, but what kind of, uh, I can't think of the friggin' word, but essentially like the levels of racing that boats have. What, can, what classifies a like this boat that's in front of me here to a boat that's got like a few 1000s or whatever. I have watched, so I actually lied, I have watched those, uh, I like I said, I don't know much about boat racing, but uh, I've watched those boats that got the giant uh, engines on the back and then they got a roll cage on it and they're racing like figure eights those super intense they're going like crazy fast like over 100 miles an hour in these tiny little circuits and those guys are just insane i've watched those before and they're running so fast around that track and it's just wild to me somebody honked i don't know if you guys picked that up or not this is the light as usual i always miss these two freaking lights 
every single day that I take my bike, I miss the lights. Right as I stop. Oh, Jesus. It's like a wasp or something. It was a big bug. I thought you guys heard it, but it made quite the clack. What's up, buddy? All right, this is the part where I am getting on the highway, so I'm gonna cut you guys off here, and I will see you in a little bit after I'm not gonna get drowned out by the wind. All right, welcome back. You guys just skipped a third of my trip. Thankfully, you guys don't have to, to put up with the loud wind like I do. My camera's like moving around a lot. I'm guessing I didn't tighten it quite enough. Damn. Birds. I freaking love birds. I don't know why. I just always have. I think they're one of the coolest animals. And there's so many different types. I love tropical birds, just how colorful they are. Growing up in New Hampshire, my favorite bird was always the cardinal, just because, other than the blue jay, for those of you that know birds, I'm, I may be talking to a very limited few, but I'm just gonna strike all these lights. But other than the cardinal, there's the blue jay, which is just a bright blue bird that lives in I thanks bud I wasn't expecting that but uh yeah other than the cardinal there's the blue jay and the blue jay is just super bright blue I think it only lives in the uh in the northeast but I'm not sure I know cardinals primarily stick to the east coast What's up, buddy? But uh, yeah, I just, I absolutely love birds. I think they're some of the coolest animals that exist. I think just the, the physics behind a bird alone and the anatomy of like, uh, I don't want to say hollow bones because we technically have hollow bones as well because we have like bone marrow and stuff inside of them. What's up, bud? All right, no wave. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know birds' bones are very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they they sh shatter like glass, like they're super stringy almost, if you've ever seen like a broken bird bone. Um, that's the reason you can't give them to your dogs, because they, they shard off and, what's up buddy? And, uh they'll get stuck in your dog's mouth or they'll swallow the little pieces and it'll, it'll really mess up your dog. So if you didn't know that, never give your dog bird bones. It can really fuck them up. But yeah, just the anatomy behind a bird, it really amazes me. And just all the different colors and the looks of them and the sizes. I just love that shit. It's like kind of a 50-50 a for my favorite type of bird because I obviously I am always wearing all black so therefore I absolutely love like crows and ravens but like I said earlier I'm also a really big fan of tropical birds and all the different colors that those guys can get on them and I don't know I don't I guess I couldn't really tell you my favorite all-time bird but it's just kind of a weird thing that I'm into. We all got our shit. I don't know if she was smiling at me or not. She rolled her window down and then rolled it back up. <laughs> that was different. I know like a video or two ago, I was talking about how like I barely remember shit from being in sync, but uh, I'm gonna sound like one of them high school burnouts, one of the kids that got like crazy popular and then just kind of died off, but that was definitely not the case with me. People liked me, I, I wasn't like 
like a, a fucking nerd in high school or something and like people didn't think that of me but I also wasn't like a super what you would call like popular kid I was pretty weird and I had a really weird sense of humor I had a fairly small like close friend group that like I would trust my life with while I was in high school and it really stuck to that I, I would talk to other people obviously like I was never I was never an asshole to anyone just because I was super weird myself so um, like I, I understood being weird so with that being said one of the things I do remember from high school is just playing football and like getting out there and uh, having fun with uh, some of your best friends um, and I remember while I was, I spent a few months in Virginia and where I was staying, there was a local high school much bigger than the one I went to. Football is not nearly as big up north as it is down here from, I mean, I can't really speak for like Boston or anything because I didn't go there. But as far as I know, the next state where football is just like everything would be Virginia. And they uh, had a beautiful stadium for these, these high schoolers. And we'd go over there, me and a few guys would go over there every time they had a game going and just root for whatever the, the home team and whoever the hell they're playing against. That's the kind of shit that I do enjoy going to see just because what's up buddy I know that those guys play their hearts out and they put everything in the game I'm not a big fan of the NFL to be brutally honest because I know there's some guys in it that play it for the sport but in my mind in my eyes I feel like a lot of them play it for the money I mean when you have millions and millions of dollars in contracts for some of these guys like are they really in it for the sport because they absolutely love the sport or are they in it because they were put in that position and now they're getting offered millions to continue being in that position like I, I the, the answer is pretty clear to me it's pretty clear what I would pick but for some of the guys I know they really do just love the sport like I know some of the smaller names they don't really get paid that much what's up bud so they're not really in it for the money they're in it because they just absolutely love the sport and I respect that but yeah just like smaller high schools or college like I, that's the kind of shit that I enjoy going to see this year has been kind of kind of fucky and it really sucks because uh, I still follow my old football team on social media and I've been seeing them like having to cancel practice or whatever just because of all this pandemic bullshit and so these guys that they like live for that's what they think about can't even go play because because of a pandemic nobody wants to see a kid get sick but it just sucks I couldn't imagine being in high school especially my senior year and not being able to play because that was like the one thing that I truly cared about while I was in and like I actually enjoyed doing but I'm on the highway in case you guys couldn't tell I don't even know if you're gonna hear all this right now so I'm gonna jump cut you to the next spot where I'm no longer on the highway and I'll see you then all right now that we skipped that stretch of highway this is probably pretty close to where I'll end up wrapping up the video I it, I really gotta come up with a way of like understanding how long I've actually spent recording because it's kind of a pain in the ass because every time I restart my GoPro it doesn't tell me how the how long I've been on the I was gonna say on the phone because I can hear somebody's phone how long I've been recording for it only tells me for that one clip that I've been doing and I guess I could get better about uh, just looking at it before I shut it off but that's dangerous it's not the smartest thing to do but I don't know I just kind of have to to guesstimate I guess and hope it always ends up working out sometimes I have to cut a lot of stuff from it sometimes I have to try to stretch it out and I don't like doing that for you guys because it makes really 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 boring 
uh, videos for you to watch. And, but I also don't want you to end up getting like a five minute clip. So I, I try to try to balance it. It's all a balancing act and trying to mentally keep track of how long I've been recording for and how much footage I can actually use that of the footage that I've gotten. So it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm getting used to it slowly. What's up, buddy? That bike was all custom out. It was pretty good looking. What's up, Scooter Bro? Alright, I gotta wrap this video up super quick because my, I accidentally left my camera running while I made a stop, so if you guys like this sort of stuff, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All my social medias can be found in the description below. Um, other than that, I'm gonna keep it pretty short because I don't want my camera to die, so I will see you guys in the next video. Later.